Now, the world is not paying enough attention to crises beyond the war in Ukraine, that says the head of the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. Martin Griffiths has urged the international community not to ignore the devastating drought in East Africa. According to the UN, 20 million people in the region are at risk of severe hunger. The causes of this crisis are complex. Joyce Atutu reports. In Takana, northern Kenya, the dirt roads are dusty and dry. Several seasons of failed rains here are causing the worst drought in decades. According to the UN World Food Programme, 20 million people in East Africa are at risk of severe hunger. Ethiopia is battling the worst drought in almost half a century and 40% of the population in Somalia is facing food insecurity. In one of the worst hit parts of Kenya is Jacinta. She is a mother of five whose eldest son has been suffering from malnutrition since September. It is worsening, worse than it has ever been. That's why you can see signs of starvation and true hunger here. The devastation caused by the recent drought is immeasurable, spilling across international borders, leaving millions of children malnourished and killing livestock which pastoralists depend on for food and a livelihood. As the world's attention focuses on the war in Ukraine, aid budgets are stretched and there's no telling when or even if enough assistance will come. I met with the head of the UN's Humanitarian Affairs Agency on a recent visit to the area. Well, I came here because I want to try hard to get the world to pay attention to the situation here. The world's attention is wholly focused on Ukraine, which is a terrible crisis, but the suffering that we've seen here, and I've been in both places, uh, has, no, has no equal. No food aid came today, but people remain hopeful as the UN promises to share their plight to the world. I wish there could be immediate aid to rescue the acutely malnourished populations, especially the kids who are in danger. Otherwise, we are expecting loss of lives. This community has shown resilience. They are ready to help one another and determined to protect their way of life. There's no telling how long this drought will last, but one thing is for sure. The most vulnerable here may not be able to wait much longer. Joyce Tutu, BBC News, Takana. Well, let's cross live now to Johannesburg. Parvin Nagala is the regional director for Oxfam in the Horn, East and Central Africa. Welcome to you. Thank you very much for being with us. Now, sadly, East Africa does often experience droughts. Is this worse than previous years? Is this cyclical, do you think? Well, it is worse uh, than uh, the last couple of years. And in fact, at the moment, what we are seeing is that it's the worst drought in 40 years. It is cyclical because what we are also seeing is an increased frequency of uh, extreme cl uh, climate weather events, especially as we talk about um, uh, climate change within the region. So, so one of our references, 2017, was the last uh, major drought that we encountered in the region. And at the moment, we have even more people impacted with the current uh, uh, drought and other extreme weather events in the Eastern Africa region. So yes, it is worse. The UN is saying that the world is distracted by the war in Ukraine. Do you believe that to be the case? Would you normally expect a, a more robust and direct response to this dire situation? Yes, um, so we have learned a lot of things within uh, the Eastern Africa region. For example, in 2011, we had a major drought where we saw over 250,000 people die because of uh, the extreme weather events and the lack of food. And in 2017, we were able to mobilize together with the support of the international community to support over 3, 3 million people who were impacted then by the, uh, by the drought. At the moment, what we are seeing is that, uh, unfortunately, because of the Ukraine crisis, the attention is absolutely uh, diverted. On one hand, it is diverted in terms of resources. We, uh, at the moment, the UN appeal we have is uh, for six, six billion US dollars, and less than 10% of this is funded. And we see this also reflected in the fact that, unfortunately, the Eastern Africa region, over 90% of um, uh, wheat that we get in the region relies on the Ukraine and Russian market. 
And with the fact that uh, there's a conflict in that region, already that means limited supplies. The final thing I would add is that also just because of the fuel and wheat or grain supply, that we are also seeing an increase in prices in food commodities. So there's a way in which the Ukraine crisis, both in terms of attention, but also the composite uh, elements of the global food supply chain that are impacting the Eastern Africa region. Yeah, and unfortunately, that um, shortage of grain and increase in prices is impacting right around the world. Now, 20 million people are facing food shortages in the East of Africa region. What help um, are you specifically asking for? What we are asking for is the resources. The resources in two, uh, in two elements. On one hand, like I mentioned, we have um, over 20 million people who are in dire need of support. And then what we are also seeing is in addition to that, because of the continuing uh, weather extreme uh, events, is that uh, there are more people that will be impacted by this crisis. So we are asking for support towards, at the moment, the figure that we have is $6 billion, the immediate support. But we also see a big need to look at some of the continued support that is needed for the region. And with that, we are, all, we are asking donors, different um, international community members, to not divert resources, but make sure that the uh, resources are available for the Eastern Africa region and many other crises that are impacting the continent. Okay, Parvin Nagala, thank you very much for joining us from Johannesburg. Thank you.